It has been 50 years since The Sound of Music first premiered. Panned at first, it has now become a Hollywood classic. And it seems the film industry is only getting more fond of the story as time goes on. Why? As Kim Brunhuber explains, it all has to do with one of Hollywood's favorite things, cash. Well, I'm even. It was based on a true story of love between a rich widower and a nun turned nanny. When it premiered in 1965, many influential critics panned it. Too corny, they said. Even the film's co-star, Canadian Christopher Plummer, agreed, calling it awful, sentimental, even gooey. But after five decades, the man who famously dubbed it The Sound of Mucus told me he has finally, finally come around. I don't have any sort of terrible criticisms now. They've all been washed away with the years. 50 years. Edmonton's Peter Kozak wasn't even born when the film premiered, but he flew to L.A. just for this classic film festival and a chance to see Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer. I think there is gold in uh, a lot of what was created, you know, 50 or 40 or 30 or even 20 years ago. Gold, indeed. For a film industry threatened by new media, re-releasing old digitally remastered films is becoming bigger and bigger business. We continue to you know, look for what's the next remaster, what's the next big anniversary, and the titles that the public are really crying out to see again. Titles like The Sound of Music, coming soon, a commemorative five-disc collection and soundtrack. And the film will be screened in more than 500 movie theaters, including several in Canada, the latest in this lucrative trend. Here's the thing. Critic you know, Leonard Malton, he believes not every old film can be recycled for a profit. For every Casablanca, there are probably about 10 duds made back then. But the good ones survive. It's taken Christopher Plummer 50 years to agree. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.